So Dr. Capper, we often hear numbers like it takes 2,400 gallons of water to produce a pound of meat. Are these numbers accurate? That may have been true 30 years ago, 40 years ago. The beef industry is so efficient now that if we look at it on a science basis, we've shown that it actually takes about 441 gallons of water per pound of boneless beef in a modern efficient beef industry. Well, that's still a fairly big number. How does that compare to other products? So if we compare to a cotton t-shirt, for example, that takes about 713 gallons per t-shirt. A car takes over 39,000 gallons. And even a bath is about 70 gallons per bath per person. So it all has to be put in context. That is helpful. So how are these numbers about water use in meat production calculated? So generally, we look at everything that goes into and out of a pound of beef. So all the inputs for cropping, for pasture, for the animal feed, are the animals drinking and everything that goes in and out into that calculation. Okay. Now, some people say that meat production just isn't sustainable. What do you think about that? You know, I think we all have our choices, obviously, but the modern U.S. beef industry is inherently sustainable. We use far fewer resources now than we did 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. On a pound of beef basis, for example, we use 30% fewer animals, we use 19% less feed, 12% less water, and 30% less land per pound of beef than we did in 1977. Farmers and ranchers every day get better, get more efficient and understand better how to feed, breed and care for their animals every day. And that gives us that efficiency to cut water use. So when consumers talk about, you know, having a vegetarian diet as a more sustainable approach, is that? Everybody obviously has their choice, but no, it isn't necessarily a more healthy choice or a less resource intensive choice. If a consumer is concerned about water usage, what kinds of steps can they take? So in t t terms of the foods that we eat every day, simply choose beef from the most efficient system. And, and on average, in most cases, that would be a corn finished type system as opposed to grass finished. But it's also important to understand that almost everything that we do every single day has some impact from brushing our teeth to making a cup of tea. So we have to look at our total water consumption every day in order to make changes. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.